So I thought I'd make a quick video on some projects I'm working on right now. Now that the Beatles been finished up, we're kind of getting back to work on the other race car. Uh, working on some sheet metal stuff right now so the flat patterns can be made up and sent off to the uh, water jet to be cut up before they get welded together. So today I finished up the design for the fuel cell itself. It's still missing a couple of bungs. It needs the, the filler put in and the uh, mounting bungs installed. But that's a pretty cool little project. It should go together really nicely. Uh, it fits nicely in the vehicle itself. There'll be plenty of room in here for the passengers feet and since it's a bottom mounted pump there'll be plenty of room to run the line out of the bottom here and run it back toward the motor. So that should come together pretty nicely. We need to tweak a couple things to make sure that it's going to fit in and out of the car but overall I think uh, we're happy with that. It should hold about 10 or 10 or 12 gallons all said and done so with that little 1200 cc motor in there we should manage to get some pretty pretty decent distance out of the tank before it needs to be filled. Uh, in addition, also finished up the design of the side scoop. So there's obviously going to be two of these. They run back to rectangular oil coolers that are mounted off this rear bar here. So two oil coolers for the 1200cc oil cooler, oil cooled motor. Yeah, same deal. I've got this built up in SolidWorks here and I'll be laying these out in a flat DXF, buying a sheet of, you know, probably an 8x4 or 8x12 sheet of 16th and 1 8 aluminum, 16th for the side scoop and 1 8 for the fuel cell. And we'll get those cut out. And once it's once it's cut, it makes it really, really easy to, um, to weld it all together. I actually did something similar with a, uh, a bumper. Um, it worked really well. I wonder if I have an assembly here. There we go. So we made up a custom bush bumper for a Toyota Tundra and used the same same sort of technique where it's all sheet metal but it was built up in one assembly so all the different pieces reference each other. So if I go back and you know change the geometry of you know change the included angle between the front plate and, and that bottom skid plate there, the whole bumper will rebuild itself uh, to to shape. So it's a really good technique for, for building these parts where you just do them in, in a single assembly and add parts and keep the relations tight between those different parts so everything fits together just perfect. And when we went to build this bumper, which is, is done now, uh, yeah, it's just a matter of you know holding corner to corner on each piece, doing a tack in each corner, and by the time you have everything together, you have an impressively true and straight piece that really needs no, no tweaking at all. If it's put together corner to corner, then ends up being exactly exactly what it was designed to be and that's you know the real beauty of these computer programs it makes stuff like that really easy this bumper was actually the first piece I'd ever really worked on where I used this sort of design technique but yeah once it was all said and done uh, we got it cut out and it looks honestly exactly like it was supposed to we, we built the whole thing out of a picture in SolidWorks with you know two primary dimensions taken from the truck itself and built it all up, welded it together and it looks perfect. So looking forward to getting those two pieces finished up here.